So Swiss chard is an amazing garden green that is easy to grow in your garden. And the best way to have great success with this wonderful plant is to get the seeds planted at the right time. So today I'd like to share with you the planting window for Swiss chard for the different planting zones that it grows in. And then I want to share with you one secret trick that we do with Swiss chard to make the leaves tender. So we grow Swiss chard year round here on the farm, uh, outdoors in the spring, the summer, and the fall, and in the greenhouses in the winter. All right, let's take a look at the best time for each of the growing zones. All right, so for zones nine and 10, Swiss chard is going to grow for you from September until July. And I would plant the first crop in late September, you know, after the summer heat has subsided. And then I would plant a fresh crop in late January or early February. I like to replant the Swiss chard crop about every 12 weeks so that I have fresh young chard to pick. So once you start the harvest, your new crop, you can go ahead and pull the old crop out. Now, if you want to try a Swiss chard crop for the summer, plant it in early May in the garden where it will get afternoon shade or put a 40% shade cloth over your crop. So you want to mulch the soil to keep the roots cooler. All right, for those of you gardening in zone seven and eight, you can plant your first crop of Swiss chard in late September or early October after the summer heat has subsided. Now with a few frost blankets, you can grow Swiss chard through the whole winter and into the spring. But you want to keep planting a new crop every 12 weeks from September through April so you have a continuous harvest of Swiss chard. Now, if you want to grow Swiss chard through your summers, you want to plant a new crop in late April or early May in a place that gets afternoon shade or grow it under a 40% shade cloth. You're going to mulch the ground to keep the roots cooler. So for those of you planting in zones five and six, you can plant your first crop of Swiss chard in late March or early April once the snow has melted and you can work the ground. Go ahead and use a frost blanket to protect the young Swiss chard plants from a hard frost. Then you're gonna plant a new crop in late July to replace the old crop. Now this July crop should keep you in Swiss chard until it starts to freeze hard. In the fall, you can put a cold frame or low tunnel with frost blankets over this July Swiss chard crop. So by covering the crop, you can probably harvest Swiss chard until mid-December. So you want to mulch the plants to keep the roots cooler in the summer and warmer in the winter. Now before I get to zones three and four, I want to let you know how you can get some fresh Swiss chard seeds at a significant discount. So you can get our hardy green seed kit that has Swiss chard and other hardy greens in it. And when you get a kit, you will have access to our seed success classroom. And there is a link in the description below so you can learn more about the seed kits, the discount, and the seed success classroom. For those of you gardening in zones three and four, you can start your first crop of Swiss chard in late April or early May. You know, this is as soon as you go and work the soil. You're gonna plant your seeds, but be ready to cover them with a frost blanket if you're going to get a frost below 28 degrees. So plant a new crop in late July to replace the old crop. Now this July crop should keep you in Swiss chard until it starts to freeze hard. So in the fall, you can put a cold frame or a low tunnel with a frost blanket over this July Swiss chard crop. And you can probably harvest Swiss chard until late November. It really depends on how the cold fronts are gonna come through your area. Go ahead and mulch the plants to keep the roots cooler in the summer and warmer in the winter. Now, before we get to the one trick that I do to keep the leaves tender, I'd like to invite you to check out our Hardy Greens e-course. So in this course, you're gonna learn how easy it is to grow the 10 best Hardy Greens in your garden, including the Swiss chard. So if you're interested in learning more about this e-course, there's a link and a coupon code in the description below the video. Okay, so we sell a lot of salad mixes and we put Swiss chard leaves in the mixes and want them to be tender because people are gonna eat the leaves raw. So the secret is to grow the Swiss chard in a shady location or under the 40% shade cloth all the time. So you wanna keep it shaded, summer, winter, fall, whatever you want that shade and this makes the leaves more tender and thinner and the leaves are really good that way. So if you'd like to see more food growing success videos, you can find them in our playlist right here.